Hello everyone and welcome to Cat's Graphic Design. Thanks for checking out my shop. Today we're doing a quick tutorial on how to use my easy ready to use upon purchase add-on overlay lights for streamers. Like all of the items in my shop, these are specifically rendered to be small file sizes, yet they're still beautiful quality. So they're guaranteed not to lag within your stream. Also, static versions of the lights will also always be included for those with slow computers or for those who don't like the glowing animation. They come with static ones that glow and ones that don't, but it is likely that even if you do have a slow computer, these lights will still not make your stream lag. Okay, so... There are two ways to import these lights into your stream. The first one being the drag, drag and drop method. So in order to do this, just simply have your file explorer to the side and drag and drop it into there. But you have to remember that as soon as you add something new into here, you should locate it in here, go to properties and select loop or else it will not loop and it'll just disappear after a few seconds. The next way to import a light is to go to this plus button here, go to media source, you can name it whatever you'd like, press loop, and then just browse through your files and try to find it. Now there may also be instances where you need to rotate the light, so in order to do that, you just right click on it, go to transform, and go to edit transform. From here, you see this rotation option here. When you press it, it rotates. So you can either guess a number or just use those little buttons, but I usually use 10. So as you can see, it goes that way. And then I'll do negative 10 to make it go that way. So then I'll just close that and I'll place it the way I like it. Now I could duplicate this light by just copying and pasting it. So control C and control V. Just do that, and then I'll locate the next one. Go to or go to transform, and just put in the opposite of negative ten, which is ten. Close it, and I'll put it where I like it, and that's it. Within OBS, there's also an option to flip them. So in order to do that, just right-click on it, go to transform, and do flip horizontal or vertical, and there's many other options here. And that's how you do that. Another cool thing that I would like to show you guys is the option that you have to change the color of these lights. So these are normally blue, but I changed them to pink. Um, so just go to right click on it, go to filters. Um, I'm going to delete this for now. Press the add button and go to color correction. So in here you have a variety of different um, options here. Um, generally to make it glow more, all you have to do is up the saturation. And as you can see, it will actually glow brighter. So you can actually adjust how much it glows. Now what I used to change the color was the hue shift. Just simply do this. And you should also keep in mind that if you if you have one of these that are duplicated, like as you can see, these snowflakes change along with these other ones because they're connected. I also wanted to quickly show you guys how to crop these in case you ever needed to do so. So again, just right click on it, go to filters, and then go to here, and go to crop slash pad. And as you can see here, you can just enter some numbers and it'll crop that side. So if I want to crop the left side, I just put in any number until you find like that sweet spot of where you want it to be cropped. And there you go. So that side's now cropped and now you can do the other side as well. And I told you guys how to do this because of this like black string here. Sometimes you may not want that in there. So it's very easy to cut it out if you don't like it. I also wanted to quickly show you guys how you can stretch these lights in case you ever wanted to. So just simply grab it and hold down shift and you can just stretch it out. Or you can make it smaller, which is also kind of really useful sometimes when, you, when you're trying to place these lights on your stream. So as you guys can see, there is a wide variety of possibilities for these lights. 
I also offer many other variations of lights in my Etsy shop, including Christmas ones, Halloween ones, paper lanterns, the regular yellow glow ones that you see here, and more to come soon. You can also mix and match them.